Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this is going to be teaching all of you how to save multiple um, values to data store 2. So using data store 2 I want to teach you how to save like uh, number values, strings, and tables all in this video, okay? Also guys, real quick before I start this video, I just want to say that uh, this video is an extension of my previous data store 2 video on like where I showed like what it was, what it did, like all the good parts of it. So if you haven't watched that video, I recommend you do watch that. And basically, Data Store 2 is just a really secure way of saving data. And um, it's just really secure, better than the normal Roblox Data Store. And yeah, let's get back to the video. So to start this off, you're obviously going to need the Data Store 2, uh, the Data Store 2 module. So you could get that uh, model in the description. Okay. And then from there, uh, you just want to just insert it into server script search, and we'll just call that a uh, data store two module. Okay, just like that. Okay. So then let's just quickly like organize this. So let's just like have a folder here. We'll have like data store two. Okay, and then put the module in here. And then let's have just one more folder. We'll just call this. Oh nope, that's a module script. We'll just have like one more here, and this will be a. Uh, We'll just call the stat saving so for the individual stats that this is gonna save okay so first let's just uh save a simple number value to data store too but before we start you're gonna want to go to uh server storage and uh insert a bool value and you're gonna want to call this strictly save in studio okay so if you want it to save in studio that's true if you want to save it in if you don't just make it false but for like this tutorial purpose I want to make it true so I can I don't have to like go to a Roblox server to test this out and then also you're gonna want to uh, just publish this game real quickly and uh, enable uh, data uh, data uh, uh, access to data stores okay so enable studio access to API services and you are like step so first you just want to uh, so with this script that you have in the data store too uh, we'll just call this like leader stats as <laughs> simple as that and then just like game dot player dot player added connect function uh, player and then local leader stats equals to instance dot new folder comma player and then leader stats dot name equals to a leader stats oops okay leader stats and then finally we'll just do like a local test number equals to uh, instance dot new int value comma uh, leader stats we'll just call this like stage instead so if it's like a hobby like so we can save the stage and then stage dot name equals to stage okay so now that we have that now we're gonna uh, actually save this number value okay so we're gonna go to stat saving and we'll insert a script so now whatever you want to save you want to make sure to, like I'm just making it easy for everyone so see the script name you're going to want to name it the stat that you want to save so we'll just call this stage okay so if we want to save this stat we'll do stage so instead of having to like individually go into the script and change everything to stage every time you want to add a new value instead you can just name, change the name of the script and it will automatically do it for you okay so first we're going to do local data store to data store module equals to require because this is a module script you have to require it and then we'll just do a uh, script dot parent dot parent dot data store mod data store two module. Okay, so just like that. Now we're gonna have a local starter value equals to uh, 100, and then a uh, local current stat current stat which is like the stat that we're saving. And then this we'll just do script dot name since it's stage. And then finally local stat folder so where we're gonna find that stat equals to uh, leader stats. Okay, so just like that. And now let's do game dot player dot player added connect function player. Okay, now we have that. Now we're gonna do local current data store equals to data store module get no no data uh, data store module and then do you know what we're gonna do. So usually it would be like the name. So we would do like stage comma uh the player. So that would be the current data store. So if you would get to module, you'll get like the stage and then the player's data. But we're gonna, since uh, we already named the script stage, instead of doing stage like this, we could do string dot lower script dot name. So what it does is that it will make st the, uh, the script's name all lowercase. So it's just stage and there. So you don't even have to change anything else. So it just makes it easier. 
and then we're gonna do a repeat wait until player find first child uh stat folder okay so if until it finds leader stats and player find first shot uh find first child stat folder find first child uh current stat so it's just trying to find that stage okay and then once it does we're gonna have a uh, local function is gonna local function update stat okay update stat and then from there we're gonna uh, wanna put this like updated value just like this and then we're gonna do player find first child stat folder find first child uh, current stat dot value equals to updated value okay just like this so what so what we'll do when it updates the stat uh, it will uh, put the updated value into the so like once the data store updates and the data comes it will just make that the value okay so after that uh, we're gonna do if current data store get so just like this the so current data store this is the current data store and then we just do get which will get the value of data store uh, equals does uh, equals equals to nil then so let's say first time players joining has no data then we're gonna do uh, update stat and then we're gonna do update uh, update stat and then starter value okay so let's just let's say if the starter value was like 50 or something it would be 50 if it was 25 it would be 25 okay so pretty much so if the player has no data then it will just automatically do its update stat and then we're gonna do else so let's say the player is not new and has uh, data then we're gonna do current data store uh, colon on update just like this and then we're gonna do uh, on update uh, update stat and then uh, current data store semicolon get so what it does is that so since the player has data so once that data comes in it's gonna update the stat to what the current data store is just like that okay so now that we have that done we're gonna go to uh, we're, we're gonna go to the fine line of the script so we're gonna do player find first child current stat find no uh, find first child stat folder find first child uh, current what am I doing current stat and then we're gonna do semicolon get property change signal value just like this connect function okay kind of a mouthful but that's what it is so it, it gets whatever the player stage stat ch state changes whenever the stat changes. And then what we're gonna do is current current data store set semicolon set. So this will set the uh, set a new value. And then what we'll we'll do is uh, player find first child stat folder find first child current stat. We'll just paste that in here. Dot value just like this. So every single time uh, every single time it changes, it will update to the data store. So now let's just test if this works, okay? So I'm gonna press play, and we will see if this works. So this is for the number values, and the string and the data will come next. So as you can see, as soon as I join, since I have no data, it's automatically put me to 25, just like as a random number. So now if I just quickly go to current server and change my uh, stat for stage, let's say I'll change it to like 70, okay? So as you can see, we're at 70, and if I press stop, let's see if it saves okay and also guys if you might be wondering why data store 2 data store 2 is like one of the most secure data stores without any data loss so why not so as you can see it says print save stage so now if we go back in we will get uh we will get 70 as our value so let's see so press play let's hope it's not crashing what is this okay let's just press stop and start it again play let's see if it works okay we're loading in and let's see what is our stat value as you can see 70 so instantly loaded okay so now that we have successfully done how to save like number values now let's do strings okay so let's go to leader stats and instead of stage let's uh so instead of uh, let's do string value okay and we'll just call this status okay just like that and then so let's so we're gonna so we're gonna change this uh script name to status because that's now what we're finding okay and then now that we have a new status value 
So what we're gonna change here is actually almost nothing because the way you save numbers to data structure is almost the same way you, stra you uh, save strings. I think it's actually the same way, okay? So basically, once you have this status, we're now instead of the starter value being a number of 25, we'll make it like none, okay? Just like this. So starter value is none, everything else looks good, okay? So now, I think this is it. Look, so if I press play, look at this, it's so simple. If I press play, my status is none, okay? So now, let's, want, let's uh, save that string. So let's just switch to the current server, just like this, and then uh, players dot hashtag blue stat. Okay, we'll change the status to uh, like busy, just like that. So now we're back to the current credit. Now my status is busy. I press stop. Let's see if it's saved. Okay. So I, if I go to my output, it says saved status. That's looking good. So now if I press play, let's see if it worked. Okay, press play. Let's see. As you can see, status is busy. Perfect. So we got the number done, string done. Look how easy that is, okay? Okay guys, so now for uh, saving tables to data store too. So basically, uh, earlier I just recorded like um, an example to use to save tables to data store too. That was a bit confusing, kind of like screwed all of it up. So I was like trying to save the character position, but I just kind of screwed it up. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna uh, just do it a simple way. So right now, I disabled the leader stats script since you don't need that for our table unless you want to save multiple leader stats. And I just made this script called table test. And then all we have here is a uh, local data store module equals uh, data store module. And then uh, game requires a player added and then current data store. We'll just call this just table. Okay, just like this. So what we're going to do is that uh, we're just going to... So we're going to do uh, if current data store get does not equal to nil then print current data store get we're just like just doing this for an example for the table okay so now we're just going to do a uh, game dot player dot player removing connect function a uh, new player if player dot name equals equals to new player dot name then so like let's it, it's the same player so what we're going to do is uh what we're gonna do is just uh, local table equals to, and then let's just have brackets, okay? So let's just have uh, like, let's just have like time of day. So like game dot lighting dot time of day. Let's just just have random things. Uh, workspace dot base plate dot color, and then let's just do one more. Uh, Hmm, what should I do? Game... Uh... Oh, number of game... Dot server script servers get children. So how many objects are in server script server? So, pretty much. And then we'll save that to the table and we'll just see if it loads. Okay? So this, all you have to do... Oh wait, I didn't even set it. Wait, what? my bad. I didn't even uh, set it. So we have the table, so now all we want to do is to save the table is what we're going to do, it's so simple, okay? We're going to do current data store, set, and then just put the table in there, and we're done. Pretty much, that's all you have to do. Set it to the table, and you are done. So let's press play, and we will see if it works. Okay, so uh, we are in the game, we have no data, nothing to print. So. Uh, all we're gonna do is uh, we note the lighting time of day is like 14:30, right? So if I press stop. It's gonna save uh, those three items: the color, like how many things, invalid type, invalid input, in wait, color three, color three couldn't do it. Okay, wait, what is this? Okay, so it couldn't change the color. Okay, we'll just do brick color. Okay, how about that? Brick color. I couldn't save a color 3, so I just changed it to brick color, and we will see if it works now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so let's press stop, and let's hope it saves. Brick color is also invalid. Okay, workspace dot, dot transparency, okay? We'll do a transparency. Transparency will be zero. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go into output, 
And let's hope this finally works. Okay, so I'll just press stop. Okay, save table. It saved the table. Okay, so now let's press play and see if everything works. We're gonna have time of day, transparency will obviously be zero, and then the other thing would be how many things are in certain scriptures. If I go to output, we have a table that it printed. So let's see if it worked. Time of day, 1430. Perfect. Transparency, zero. And then how many options were in the server script service? Two. As you can see, the table did work. It did save. So that's pretty much all you have to do to get that table. So, so if you want to save a string, a number, or a table, all of it will work. So it's all the same way. It's so simple with data store too. So yeah, so basically, uh, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. And uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye.